In this film we're looking at uh, making uh, an improvement to the eyes. So we're working on a headshot image here and basically we've just whitened the teeth. Uh, next stage is obviously looking at the eyes and the brightness and the light, uh, the lightness and so on. So the same thing, I'm just going to click onto an adjustment layer. I'm going to pick up levels. And at this point, all I'm interested in is the eyes themselves. So I'm not worried about what's going to go on with the rest of the uh, skin, the body, the face, and so on. All I'm looking at is how bright I want the actual eyes to be with a little bit of contrast kick and sharpness as well, as well as a little bit of a lightness. So I've just uh, adjusted that. So I'm pretty much uh, there. Um, what I want to do is just, just affect the eyes. So once more, I just need to... Um, invert my mask and then basically BDX to actually paint in the oh sorry BD um, brush default that that's what I'm doing when I'm saying BD um, I'm just kind of bringing this in just to make these eyes very very bright she's got a lovely gray ring if you see around her eyes that's why I wanted to lighten them just a little bit more plus I'm just going to add a little bit of light lightness just around the um, top of the lid as well to actually take away some of the age. So even though she's darkened there, we've pretty much cool. So um, as far as the levels are concerned, of course, at this point, I can still go back in and go, well, in fact, I want them a little bit lighter or dark, uh, darker, depends on what we're doing. So remember to zoom out, look at the overall image to actually see how much it's uh, done its job or not. Um, I think at this point as well, I'll just uh, apply a sharpening to them. So I'm just going to go back onto the layer and pick up my sharpening tool. And at this, this point, just making it a little bit bigger and just sharpen across the whole of the eye there, including just spilling onto the eyelashes. So with that done, uh, I'm now going to make a new layer um, of all those adjustments. So shift Control alt e back uh, on the main image. So this is the one basically built of all the other images below. OK, so what I want to do here now is actually just go in and make the eyes just that little bit bigger. So I'm just going to go into fill, filter and liquify. And first thing to do is just zoom in really, really close so we can just work on the eyes themselves. And I'm just going to go and pick up the bloat tool. And at this this point, making the um, brush much bigger, and I'm just going to add one, two clicks on here. I think that was a bit too much, in fact, so just one click. And then once more on here. Um, at the same point, if I want to... Uh, just make the eye opening on this lid just that little bit bigger. I can just pick the forward warp tool, shrink the brush down to the size that I want it to be, and just kind of start to make that eye eyelid just that little bit bigger. If I want to, at the same point, push that one as well. And just take a little look, preview on and off. So it's just increased the eyes just a little bit more, pressing OK. So I'll just show you the before and after. So that's the after and that's the before. So it's just made the eyes just that little bit more. So if you just zo zoom out again, off and on, just increase that one eye size just a little bit bigger. If, if, if we're in doubt, just um, stepping back uh, backwards, going back in, going through the liquify again, if we'd saved the mesh on the way out, we could have just gone back in and adjusted the actual the adjustments that we made. So again, remember what was on about the bloat tool. Click once, once on that one as well. Then just on the warp tool, just that little bit. I think I went a little bit too big on the other eye. There we go, pressing OK to that. And it's just widen those eyes just a little bit more. So that's the kind of work that we'd want to do on the actual eyes. So the first thing is the lightness, the bright, uh, the brightness, then the making sure that there's the sharpness there. And then if we go into make them a little bit kind of bigger.